Hey guys. Just so, where are you hiding? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Play hand. And card on it. Usually the videos on this channel feature mostly me, but this video I teamed up with a bunch of my second year classmates to bring to you guys the best advice we could find or we could crowdsource from from my, our class. We've met my classmates very briefly and now you're about to hear their very good, very real advice so make sure to listen and stay until the end and I'll catch you guys later. Just uh, don't be too hard on yourself and focus on other aspects of your life too. So I would say uh, try to find a balance, that would be the first thing. So try to find a balance between studying, like study not too much but not too little. Of course it's like okay, you, got, you have to find your balance as soon as possible because uh, don't wait too long, go with the technique that you have already like uh, whatever study technique that you went with and if it doesn't work out you'll find out yourself with how you perform and then yeah but mainly um, try to find the balance that's what I would say. If I have to give one advice that is really helped me along the way is not being afraid of looking dumb or idiot does not serve you. If you have a question in a class where you have 200 students the odds are that there's a certain amount of wisdom in this room. So if you didn't get anything or it, something doesn't click in your head, go ask, even if it's stupid. Even if it's not a question, you can raise your hand, be like, oh, I, I, what I understood was this and that. Am I in the wrong direction? Like, do I get the, what you're trying to say? Try to listen to your lecturers because they have a lot of experience. Even if you dislike them, find the common ground with them. Go after the class, talk to them, say, hey, I, I, I'm having difficulties following your lectures. What do you recommend me to do? I don't understand what you wrote on the syllabus. Because uh, at the end of the day, they are the one who's writing the exams, who are um, teaching you that aspect and you, their perspective over a way broader uh, spectrum of material. Um, and this would help you to get into the right depth because I don't know for me medical is like an endless amount of depth you can go into every topic but at the end of the day we have a limited amount of time limited amount of energy so uh, it's better to ask um, and I don't know this is what I would say I think one thing would definitely be experiment with study methods because the methods that you might have used before don't necessarily work now and everyone studies differently so just because someone's doing something don't feel pressure to study the same way and you know find a group that you can also talk things out with don't trick yourself into thinking that you know the information when you don't um, and as far as Italian goes also actively practice and speak because you may think you know things and you can't actually talk and no matter how hard you try you will not improve without speaking Italian. Things I would do differently um, now if I had to go back and do it again I would um, firstly get more sleep <laughs> and I would be more organized in terms of putting my lecture slides um, and things in in Notion and then just putting short YouTube um, links to the topics from the slides. I would not subscribe to things like Ken Hub and Lecturia and all of the things that I spent too much money on because I think that they go more in depth than we need to and they just take too long. Um, and then the other thing I would do differently that I've started doing recently and I found it really helpful is to turn lectures into mind maps um, just to help me stay focused on what is really the most high yield information um, especially things like examples and relationships between things are the most important um, yeah that's it okay um, all right if I had to give first Jenny advice I would say Take one exam at a time. Barajan gives you this advice really early on, but I didn't take it, and it was the biggest mistake that I made last year. We've got lots of exam seasons, so take one exam at a time and just spread it out. Don't stress yourself out. Um, and then I think the only other thing I would say is don't take life so seriously, because if you spend all your time studying, you're not going to retain anything anyway, so you might as well go and have some fun, enjoy yourself, explore the city, that kind of thing. Um, any other advice would be probably take the Italian lessons. If you're, if you're an international student, take the Italian lessons. It's a really difficult language to learn, so rather be in a structured environment than trying to study by yourself, because Duolingo does not do a good job. <laughs> okay, that's all I got. <laughs> okay, so I think that if I had to talk to myself for last year, I would definitely suggest him to 
uh, keep more attention during lectures and f try to following every lectures, not just keeping some courses uh, or skipping the lectures of some professors, because uh, that would those that will would have really helped in uh, keeping on track with uh, with the overall course and not learning. So it would not, I would not have ended up in having to study a lot of materials right after the lectures and uh, uh, in exam period. And I would definitely do um, um, collaborative learning, like studying together with people, because that is also something that is helping me right now in the second year, keeping pace with everything we're studying without falling behind. And uh, I think that's it. I would definitely do flashcards throughout the year, uh, like even 20 minutes in the morning. Or, and absolutely flashcards during the summer. I wish I had done that for sure. Yeah, so you don't l lose everything you studied for. Um, and a steady hobby. For example, running is amazing, or working out, or drawing. Something you could do in 10 minutes or so every day. Okay, so my advice, like what I learned from my first year, is that mainly it's important to have a plan for how we're gonna sit our exam, like in order for the exams. And I learned that it's a good idea to give like the most difficult exams first, because the first session is the easiest one, like the first call is the easiest one. And having more time to prepare a, a big exam is pretty good. So I think giving first the bigger ones, the most difficult ones is a pretty good idea. Plus, during the lesson, like during the period before the exam, so while the teacher are explaining the things, I feel like it's very useful, at least for how I learn. I learn a lot by hearing. So I think that for people like me, it's pretty important to follow the lesson and to hear what the professors say, because usually that's what they're gonna ask. So it's kind of a guide, instead of like learning all, all the book, you can just focus on the thing that they say that usually is what they are focused on, what they care about. So that might be also a pretty good idea. And mainly that. Yeah. Um, I would definitely try studying in groups, but not by just for the company, but more of discussion with your peers or your friends. And ask a lot more questions in class because a lot of the professors they'll be very willing to explain if they didn't if you didn't understand the first time so don't be too nervous to ask questions to clear it up and well just keep up like as soon as you even let one assignment or one class yeah, like you think you don't you shouldn't study for that and you let it go behind it's just gonna like snowball down so don't let it pile up. My advice for uh, first year students is to um, attend to the tutoring groups because I think they are really really useful uh, especially if you prepare the and study the uh, content before the lesson in order to organize information because I think that uh, is more more useful to organize information in our minds rather than, rather than um, actually memorize it or like study for long 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 hours and not really being schematics or like point out what the most important things are so i would suggest to uh, go to tutoring groups also to see how um, older uh, students and colleagues um, study or what method they use and how to uh, do and manage all the studies and the content well, if I had to give advice to a first year myself, first and foremost, I'd say planning. Planning is something I didn't do a lot in my first year, and I paid for it severely. Even if you are not completely sure of your planning method, a decently executed plan executed now is always better than a perfectly executed plan executed too late. And secondly, I'd say not being too reliant on transcripts of classes because those are in certain cases incomplete and in others just uncomprehensible given that it's the professor speaking. Books are more reliable and they contain more information. 
For sure, I would like study in groups from the beginning and like ask a lot of questions. One thing is to go in at it as in like don't be afraid to ask the stupidest questions, especially when you're in like study groups, because that's where you can find out what to do better. I feel like that's one thing I was afraid of, if anything, and to just refer like try all different kinds of resources because the thing is some things might be able to explain it better for you than others and like your study methods could be different from others so don't try to rely on other people but like try to find your own way at it it's gonna take a while it's not gonna be easy at all like it's, it's a lot of trial and error but like use that first semester or like that first few weeks to do it don't wait till the end because that's what I think I messed up on but either way it's a lot of trial and error so just Keep trying, that's all I can say. Okay, so I think that the main thing that everybody talks about uh, when we talk about med school is how much you're gonna have to study and everything. And when I came here, I was ready for the amount of study and I went hard on the first few weeks and it was fine, it wasn't too much, I was handling it. In fact, like, my first semester I passed the two first exams without much trouble. I didn't get like the best grades, but that's just because there's a lot of stuff. Uh, what they don't tell you is that you're gonna be in a new university and you're gonna have that high school behavior of wanting to do, have friends and get really involved in the social life. And I think it's really important to have a social life, make friends and everything just there's gonna be a lot of drama too and uh, I let a lot of the drama get to me on the second semester which made me unable to study a lot of time because I was focusing on how to make my friends feel better or how to fix that problem and everything and so yeah I would the best advice I would give to myself is like there's gonna be drama. You're gonna have to go through it, but remind yourself that you're here for med school and that whatever friends you're gonna have right now, they're probably just gonna last six years. So just focus on yourself because you're the one that is gonna like go through all of your life alone. Personally, what I wish I had heard last year that I was starting first year is that it's important that you try a lot of different things when it comes to studying. Um, try questions, try Anki, try space repetition, try taking notes, try mind maps, because the best thing, um, there's no, okay, sure, there is videos in science and books and studies that say that there are specific um, ways to do things, but at the end of the day, the most, the best way is the way that works for you. And if for you that's taking notes, then that works for you. And if for you that's making mind maps or drawing, then that works for you. Whatever works for you is what you should be doing. The second thing I think I would recommend or I wish I had heard is to stay outside of your comfort zone and to put yourself out there to make friends, to talk to a lot of different people, to be open-minded about who you're meeting. Everybody's kind of in this new place with surrounded by new people, maybe away from your home country or away from your parents, living in this new environment. So it's really easy to go up to people and be friendly and make friends and I think it's very important to exploit that and to be friendly, make friends, go up to people, talk to them, engage in friendly conversation because it's very important throughout med school that you don't think about this in a, I, if, I, if I'm winning, you're losing, which is another tip I think um, I, would, I would give is that it's important that for you, med school, for you and your classmates, med school isn't a zero-sum game where for me to win, you have to lose. I would frame this more in terms of things like a rising tide lifts all boats. If I share my notes and you share your notes, we both win. It's us, the students, against the exam, not us against each other. And that makes all the difference in the world. Our class is really, put together in this way and we really share our notes, answer questions, share uh, slides, everything. We really help each other out. We're really there for each other, as you can tell by this video and by, by all the people that came together to give advice to, to, the, to the first years or to just people that are new to med school. And I think that can truly make or break your medical school experience. And it's also how doctors operate, right? Your surgeon won't not share notes with the anesthesiologist or 
or the, the uh, GP won't withhold information from a specialist because that's not how it works. Everybody teams up for the health of the patient. And here, it's important that we learn to team up to tackle this big obstacle, which can be this big, bad, scary exam. And that can really make or break your med school experience. So that would be, I think, my final and most important advice for you guys. Learn how to study, make friends, but most importantly, just team up against the exam, not against each other. But yeah, um, actually, actually, I think the best advice I could give you is to subscribe to this channel and to go watch this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.